I want to talk about balls. I don't want to talk about my balls. My balls get hot, sweaty. Today I've got a gear review video for you guys. Uh, I live in Southern California, it's very hot. And that means uh, that we like to do night riding. I recently bought a headlight, a Baja Designs headlight, put it on my bike, great light, it's very bright, um, but it doesn't solve the whole night riding picture. And so what I did was I went online and I was like, okay, I wanna buy a light. Uh, as you probably know by watching our videos, um, we make a line of custom GoPro chin mounts and. One of the things I was thinking uh, in that whole process was, well, what if we could strap a light to it? And so, of course, the light that I wanted to go out and find was a light that had the GoPro mounting feet. So, like, you've got these mounting legs that go on the GoPro, right? And there's a variety of different kinds of, like, mountain biking lights that you can buy uh, that had those same feet. And there's also a bunch of different uh, moto-based lights. So I went online and I found this company, Oxbow, which I'd never heard of before, but a pretty big brand in the moto riding light industry. Uh, so I bought one and I wanted to do a quick review of it. Um, we actually just got out and, and rode on the trail with us for the first time. What you're gonna get with this light, obviously you get a battery. And that's kind of a cool thing too. So the battery is not mounted in the light. Um, or it's the, the battery and the light are separate, which is nice because the light is very light. It weighs like a little over two ounces. Uh, and this light, believe it or not, is 2100 lumens. It is a, an extremely bright headlight. And you can run the battery in your backpack. The battery on high is supposed to last about three hours. So they say, basically, you get three different modes. You get low, medium, and high. All right, let there be light. There you go. So that's how much light you get. So oh, you're also gonna get, like the way that they had originally intended that you mount this thing, they give you the GoPro sticky feet, and then they also give you a screw and the mount. So like normally, yeah, you would mount this maybe like on top of your helmet, but I didn't wanna do that because like I said, we make a line of, of these chin mounts. We wanted to make one that was not only capable of carrying the GoPro, but also able to carry the light up underneath. So uh, this is something that's still a, a prototype for us. We're rolling it out onto our store and, and we'll eventually make these for all of the different custom mounts that we make for all the different helmets. At this point, we have like 60 or 70 of them, but we'll have a, a, a mount specifically for each one of these that will also carry these sorts of lights. So recently I actually just got out and uh, was able to use this for the first time. And I thought it was like really actually impressive how well this thing works. And, and before I get into that, I just actually want to talk about the build of this thing. It's, it's, it's made out of aluminum um, and it's actually really rugged. I've handled a lot of different lights and I think everybody can tell the difference between a cheap light and a quality light. And if you're into flashlights, um, which I am, I, I have a bunch of different flashlights. And this thing is actually a quality light. I did notice that if you're kind of standing still, uh, like you, you do need airflow on this light keep it from overheating because with that much light come off these bulbs these things will get hot i would recommend that if you're stopped uh, for any amount of time just turn it off and then turn it back on again when you're ready to go the output is phenomenal i think you wouldn't want less light than this it takes the trail and just makes it so like you're not even aware of the fact that it's night out anymore uh, which is really phenomenal especially having it right there in front of your face it's like everywhere you look completely illuminated uh, which I, I really like. And not just the fact that the light is so bright, uh, it's also the way that the beam is thrown. So right, I'm sure if you're aware of the fact that, you know, you could have a spot or you could have a complete flood. Um, and this thing creates a, a flood of light that's probably, you know, as you're riding on the trail, it's probably 20 feet wide. So it's more than wide enough for the width of the trail and you can see everything in that range, right? And I also really like the fact, like with my Baja Designs headlight, it's on the bike, it's a lot lower, it's skimming over the top of the terrain, right? And it's also pointing 
where the bike is pointing, which is obviously not usually where you're looking when you're riding. The chin light gives you the ability to do is give you a second perspective on the train. So right, you've got the headlight on the bike that's shining out into the distance and leaving a bunch of black holes where all the rocks are and everything. You can't see kind of what's down in those dark spots. So this gives you the ability to kind of look down into that and illuminate everything that you can't see from the, the, the bike's light perspective. Also, the reason why you would mount a GoPro on your head um, is for that balance and stability um, of, of your head as you're riding, right? It's not being bounced around like the, the dirt bike is, right? The bike's doing all this stuff underneath you, but your head is staying pretty much steady and level, and it allows you to create a constant spot on what you want to pay attention to. So it's, it's turning where you want to look. Um, which I really like. I think that if you're going to ride at night, yeah, it's important to have a headlight on your bike, but to have, I, I could ride with just this light alone and not have a headlight on my bike, it'd probably just be fine. I mean, it's that good. The Lumens, I think the, the Baja Designs headlight that I have uh, is like 4,000 lumens or something like this. So this thing is effectively half of that. Just the fact that it, it spreads the light so well and puts it right where you want it to be it really is more effective lighting than the, the headlight of the bike. I really like this. Uh, I think it's absolutely necessary if you're gonna be riding at night. I'd recommend picking one of these up. It's a hundred bucks. And you can also get uh, an extra battery for 30 bucks. Uh, and I would recommend doing that because you know, riding three hours after dark is probably, it's a pretty good ride, but you know, it, it's always good to have a spare battery just in case. You don't wanna be out on the trail and be having a great ride and be three hours out and still have three hours to get back. Uh, and realize you're out of light and then have to ride by the light of your, your headlight alone. Or if this is your headlight, you definitely don't want to get stuck out there. <laughs> Make sure you have plenty of battery. Um, you can run them on lower settings uh, that I don't know how long the low setting lasts. The high setting, I'll say this about it. In the pitch black, I was riding with my goggles, my tinted goggles on and I didn't notice. So that tells you how much, like, um, the immense amount of light that you have with one of these. Really impressed with this product. I don't know anything about the longevity of it yet. I think it's a quality built piece, but you know, there's always little wires and things that can break loose, especially when you're bouncing around on a bike. I do like that they give you a various different connectors so you can, you can connect this thing in different ways, right? You've got different extension pieces. You've got the ability to stretch this out, um, you know, in case you need to, it, like, takes up the slack, but allows you to move your head without having to worry about how like your, your cord dangling down here somewhere. You don't, you don't want a lot of extra cord. So um, it is nice to have, I think that they, they thought through the way that the cords were put together in a nice way. If you're gonna buy a light, highly recommend this one. It's super lightweight. I didn't feel the weight of it on my helmet in any way. Like between the GoPro and the media mod and the light, like, I mean, I just, I didn't really notice it, so. I'm happy to have a light and, you know, be able to do more night riding over the summer. I will depart you with uh, the idea that you should buy one of our very cool chin mounts. You can see these are the ones we just finished, but this is for the uh, Shoei VFXW helmet. It's custom made for that one. And this one's the uh, Scorpion EXO AT950. You can see custom made mounts for uh, GoPro specifically, or other action cameras, and soon to be lights. As soon as we get the finer details of like how we want it to be able to shine the light and all those different kind of um, nuanced factors that go into developing a product, once we have all that stuff figured out, uh, we'll go ahead and release a line of these uh, for every helmet that we've created. Um, and that way you guys will be able to do that if you're doing uh, any night riding and you wanna be able to record that as well. So uh, we'll drop links to all of our shit in the um, description below. Check out our brand new uh, t-shirts. We have a podcast. Wanna be's Mobcast. And that's where we talk to professional racers and other people in the sport. Uh, it's a really cool podcast. You don't want to miss that. Uh, we have merch for it, so you can get that in our shop as well. I think these are super dope. And uh, shout out to Tristan. We'll put a link to his Instagram page in the description below. Check that out. Uh, he did the artwork for this, which I think turned out really well. If you have any questions, leave the comments. Catch you next time.